Today I'm going to show you a simple, yet extremely powerful strategy, designed specifically for a market we all know well, Bitcoin. It's called the Mean Reversion ATR Strategy, and it's built to take advantage of those moments when price moves too far away from its average, and has only one likely direction, back to the mean. We'll be using the ATR, the average true range, to measure how far price is stretching, and we'll turn this logic into a fully automated trading bot using Algo Builder X, with zero coding required. So let's break it down. The strategy we're about to build is based on the concept of mean reversion, the natural tendency of price to return toward its average after deviating too far. To detect these excess moments, we'll use a simple moving average as our reference, and the ATR, the average true range, to measure the market's recent volatility. Here's the idea. If the price moves away from the moving average by more than two times the ATR, we expect it to reverse. So we'll open a buy when the price drops below the SMA minus two times the ATR. And we'll open a sell when the price rises above the SMA plus two times the ATR. It's a simple logic, but highly effective, especially on an asset like Bitcoin, which constantly swings and snaps back. Now, let's build the bot. First, we drag the check trades count block and set it to no trade. This ensures the bot only executes trades when there are no open positions, helping us avoid conflicts or duplicate entries. Next, we drag a formula block and connect it directly to the check trades count block. Inside the formula block, on the left side, we select the ATR indicator. As the operator, we choose multiply. And on the right side, we select values and enter the number two. This calculates ATR multiplied by two, which will serve as the threshold to identify overextended price movements. Finally, we select the option set result to this variable instead of add. So the result is updated dynamically every time the logic is triggered. We save this value in a variable which we'll later use to compare the current price against the moving average. Now let's calculate the two key levels of this strategy, the upper and lower boundaries relative to the moving average. We start by dragging a new formula block and connecting it right after the previous one. This time, on the left side, we select the EMA indicator, which we'll use as our reference moving average. We set the periods to 100. For the operator, we choose Add. And on the right side, we select Values and insert the variable containing ATR multiplied by 2. This gives us the result of EMA plus 2 times ATR, the upper level, where we'll start looking for potential short entries. Instead of dragging a new block, we duplicate the last formula block we just created. This way, all the settings, the EMA on the left and the ATR variable on the right, are already configured. All we need to do is change the operator from plus to minus, so it now calculates EMA minus two times ATR. We also create a new variable to store this result, which will represent the lower boundary for our long entry signals. This saves time and keeps our setup consistent. Next, we connect a condition block directly after the check trades count block. We want to make sure the price is inside our calculated ATR bands before we draw them on the chart. In the first condition, on the left side, we select candle close, zero. And we check if it's less than the upper band, the result from our EMA plus ATR formula block. Then, instead of creating it from scratch, we duplicate the condition block. This time, we change the logic to check if candle close is greater than the lower band. 
which is the result from the EMA minus the ATR formula. This way, we're confirming that the price is currently between the two levels, inside the zone we've defined. And only if that's true, we'll move on to draw the lines. Now we connect a draw object block. We choose the object type as line and then set it to horizontal line. For the name, we assign a variable. This is important because it will allow us to interact with this line later if needed. Next, we customize the line's appearance by adjusting properties like thickness and color to make it easier to identify on the chart. Then we move to the Y-axis setting, which controls where the line is drawn. We select Values, and then choose the variable from earlier, which contains the result of EMA plus ATR. This will draw a horizontal line exactly at that level. We duplicate the previous draw object block. Then we change the name, assigning a new variable, because each line must have a unique name to be drawn correctly and to avoid conflicts later. Next, we change the color of the line to green, since this will represent our bi-trigger level. Finally, in the Y-axis setting, we select the variable that contains the result of EMA minus ATR. This draws the second horizontal line, completing our visual zone on the chart. Let's take a quick moment to review what we've done so far. We made sure there are no trades already open. We calculated the ATR times two. We used that to define upper and lower levels around the moving average. And we drew two horizontal lines to visualize that zone on the chart. Now it's time to handle the risk management side of the strategy. For this bot, we'll use a stop loss equal to three times the ATR. This gives the trade enough room to breathe and ensures the stop is always placed at a distance that adapts to market volatility. So, starting again from the check trades count block, we connect a new formula block, and just like we did before, we calculate ATR multiplied by three. We then save the result in a new variable, which we'll use later when setting up the trade action. Now it's time to bring in one of the key elements of the strategy, the entry condition. We drag a condition block and connect it to the formula block where we calculated the ATR times 3. On the left side of the condition, we choose candle close 0. As the condition type, we select cross above. And on the right side, we select object. Then choose the variable that represents the sell trigger line, which is the price level of EMA plus ATR. We move forward by dragging a cell action block, and we connect it directly to the condition block we just created. We're not setting the take profit just yet, because in this strategy, our take profit will be the EMA, and we'll configure that in the next step. For now, we only set the stop loss, leaving the type as fixed pips, but instead of using a static value, we select the variable that contains ATR times 3, which we calculated earlier. This way, the stop loss is always dynamic, automatically adjusting based on the market's volatility. Next, we duplicate the condition block to create the logic for a potential buy entry. On the left side, we keep candle close zero, but this time we change the condition type to cross below. On the right side, we select the variable that represents the buy trigger line, which is the price level of EMA minus two times ATR. This condition will activate when price crosses below the lower band, setting us up for a potential long position. So let's drag a buy action block and connect it right after. Again, we're not setting the take profit yet, because as mentioned earlier, the EMA will serve as our exit target and we'll configure that in the next step. 
For the stop loss, we leave it as fixed pips, and just like before, we select the variable containing ATR times 3. Perfect. We've now completed the core logic of our bot. Let's do a quick backtest to make sure everything is working correctly and behaving as expected. We export the bot to CTrader. Launch the backtest, and as you can see, the entry logic is functioning correctly. The bot is opening trades exactly when price crosses above or below the ATR bands. Now there's just one thing left to add, the exit condition, so the position closes once price returns to the EMA. To create the exit logic for our short positions, we start by dragging a new check trades count block, and we set it to if trade is greater than zero. But this time we also filter it by trade type, sell. This ensures the following logic only runs when a sell trade is open. Next, we connect a condition block, where we check if candle close zero has crossed below the EMA, using the same period as before, 100. If this condition is true, we then connect a close trade block, so the bot will automatically close the short position once price returns below the moving average. Now we move on to closing our long positions. To do that, we duplicate the check trades count block we just created and simply change the trade type from sell to buy. Then we duplicate the condition block as well, but this time we change the condition to cross above, so it checks if candle close zero crosses above the EMA. Finally, we connect this condition to the same close trade block as before. This way, whether it's a long or a short position, the bot will close the trade once price returns to the EMA. Now there's one final step to complete the strategy. We need to make sure that when a trade is opened, the line that triggered it gets removed immediately. If the line stays on the chart, it could cause the bot to re-trigger unwanted entries later on. To handle this, we drag a delete object block and connect it to both the buy action and the sell action blocks. This means that whenever any trade is opened, the delete logic will be triggered. In this first delete object block, we delete the sell trigger line, which is the one placed at EMA plus two times ATR. Then we duplicate the delete object block, connect it directly after the first one. And in this second block, we delete the buy trigger line, drawn at EMA minus two times ATR. With this in place, we make sure that after every trade, both lines are cleared from the chart and the bot resets correctly for the next signal. And finally, it's time to generate the source code of our bot. Copy the code, paste it inside CTrader, and launch the backtest. Now let's take a look at how it performs. As you can see, the entries and exits follow the logic we built step by step. Trades open only when price breaks out beyond the ATR bands and close precisely when price returns to the EMA. This setup is clean adaptive to volatility, and perfect for traders who want a rule-based system without writing a single line of code. If you want to test this exact bot, you can download the full project directly from our Discord. The link is in the description. And if you're ready to build your own, head over to algobuilderx.com and start for free. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.